Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw a rose, you know, a flower, but a more realistic version of it. I've drawn cartoon flowers in the past, but I wanna do more, like, I don't know how else to say it, but other just more realistic. So let's get started, okay? Um, this will be for beginners and it should be easy to follow. So let's do this step by step, all right? Okay, before that though, don't forget to subscribe. Make this the video you subscribe in. I post three times every single day, three art lessons every day on different topics. So don't, don't miss out when you subscribe. It basically shows you on your feed kind of uh, what's um, what's being posted. So let's get started, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with a circle and I think that probably be the easiest thing for the center part. Kind of just like a relatively normal circle. I'm gonna go in the middle of that and I'm gonna draw a curve here for the bottom. If that makes sense, it's gonna be like another circle on the inside, but you're not gonna complete it. But you could, you could draw like a full small circle in that. And what I'm gonna do with this side is I'm gonna flare it out a little bit, pull a line outward, and then I'm gonna curve down on this side. You're creating that center, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, like a bud. You're gonna do the same thing on this side, flare it out. Curve it around. Gonna go over here, and so it looks like a lettuce, you know, kind of. It's it's like one leaf, leaf layered on top of leaf, right? So I'm gonna pull a line here, gonna choose to pull a line here in the center of what I just did and curve around, and then pull down. Gonna do the same thing on the opposite end. You could pull it out of anywhere, curve line here, like curving around here, down. <laughs> I'm going to throw a curve line underneath and cradle this whole thing. It's going to cradle all of it. Over here is going to pull out, down, curve underneath. Curve around, like, like you could kind of curve around the, the end. You could just make that a regular flap, you know, it'd be fine. As long as you follow it close enough, It's as long as you're getting the impression of it, you don't have to uh, literally follow every single shape. Um, gonna go from the top now over here, and I'm gonna start a line over there, and I'm gonna curve it to the left side, and I'm gonna curve over here for a pedal. And on the way, I, I want it to attach to this, this guy over here on this side. So on the way down though, I'm gonna wiggle the line a little bit. So wiggle, so it looks more organic. <laughs> now another one, I'm gonna start from this right here. I'm gonna start from this area and I'm gonna try to attach it over here. I'm gonna mark it out for, for you to see. Right here, from here to here, I wanna connect those. I'm gonna do an arc. And as I'm arcing, I'm gonna wiggle it a little, the line. And the wiggling is, you know, up to you. So let's go over here, wiggle, wiggle, and then as much wiggle room as you have there. Cool. Now let's start down here. Start on this area. And I'm trying to pull it maybe over here somewhere. And same thing, I want an arc, but it's gonna wiggle as it's getting there. So I'm gonna go over here. Don't forget, hit the like button, by the way. I forgot about that. Hit the like button. <laughs> I always gotta remind myself, remind people. If you like this, hit that like. It helps the whole channel out. It, it literally supplies the the life force for the channel. That's how we survive, is through those likes. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna go over here and wiggle as I'm getting there. Gonna go on this side now. I'm gonna mark it bottom, like just marking it there for a little bit, for, mostly for the camera, you don't have to do that. But if you if you need to do that to make it there, you can do that. And I'm gonna try to make it over here. So these two, same thing. This one's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna pull out at an, at an arc, and then I'm gonna pull the leaf out a little bit more over here at the edge, and then I'm gonna wiggle it in. I wanna make the I don't know, the leaf come up more. You don't have to, but so so as you're getting the point, right? It's a lot of layering. 
So let's go over here and we're gonna attach it to over here, let's say. Curve over here. I'm gonna go on this side. I have an arc, the same thing over here on this side. So over here, oh, I didn't mark that one, but same thing, wiggle, wiggle. Over here as well, I'm gonna start from that. And I'm gonna aim it over here, like it's gonna meet up on, on this side. So go over here, wiggling around. Curve over here. Now we're gonna go over here and put like a pedal or two coming off. So I'm gonna draw like a straight line down here. Just a bit, not too far, it's gonna be a leaf. I'm gonna draw, zigzag that down in the leaf, kind of a one half of the leaf. Wiggle, zigzag it up. Line out. Same thing, so that's the center of it. Curve. Zigzag over here, pull it back. <laughs> and now we're gonna go over here to the stem. So I'm gonna just have a small curve here, like a like a ball shape at the bottom, almost like coming out. You can pull like a little, I don't know. That I can put a little <laughs> thing sticking out, but now I'm just I'm gonna pull down here for the stem. I'm going to do this over here as well. Pull down here with a stem on that side. So let's put the finishing touches on the flower, right? So finishing touches would be the um, texture on these petals, right? So within, let's say, let's take this one petal, right? Which way is it folding back? It's folding back outward. I'm going to draw like a thinner line right there. See, another one right next to it over here as well. Right, let's draw two lines, maybe even one more in the middle if you want but I'm drawing these slightly thinner lines, curving with the leaf, whatever way it's, like this one's curving back that way. So you're gonna draw a slight curved line right there, here as well, here. And it's just gonna make it look like the texture on the leaf itself. You don't have to put them everywhere, but yeah, I'm just gonna put them here and there and they have to be thinner or they're gonna really they're gonna really, really be distracting. So make them thinner than you would, uh, like, you know, all the other lines that you made. And, you know, again, you don't have to put them like everywhere, but it'd be a wise idea to put them around. I, I'm not gonna put it at the bottom there because it looks like the bottom of the rose. And that's it. That's a more realistic rose. Uh, you can color that red if you want. Uh, it's fun to do so. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, reach out to me and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime. I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first 
link in the description. The very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy. And the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later and uh, hopefully I'll see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.